the title of my piece in Ebb and Flow is Rise from the Ashes. I created it in late January of this year, 2020, before COVID-19, before the pandemic really got going. Um, little did I know, um, it's a very somber piece with ebb and flow and that whole feeling I see that as movement um, because of the word and in there, ebb and flow. Um, and so I wanted to show movement and I feel like I did that through my quilting because otherwise it could be a very static piece. I used a sashiko pattern um, called Overlapping Diamonds. I really like this pattern. I'm just now learning about Sashiko and I have a tremendous amount more to learn. Um, but I love the patterns, the way that the lines that are used, they intersect in a way that not only do you have lines, but shapes are developed within those. I think someone looking at, at my piece would conclude that I like minimalist art. I like abstract art. I love to dye my own fabric. I love to play with color. Um, yes, there are recipes, so you sort of know what you're going to get, but mm, no, you never really know till you rinse it at the end. Um, so I, I tend to go back and forth. Sometimes I choose a size first, and sometimes I just look at my hand dies and think, oh, I really like this one, I'm gonna use this. And however big it is, or I, I work obviously within that parameter. Um, so I start with that and then add on, I think, okay, what can I do with this? So with this piece, I felt like it needed something in a with a reddish tinge in it because of that black the black dye that I used has red in it. Um, so I used that. And then for the quilting, I really like variegated thread. Um, again, I think it helps to give a sense of movement. It's thread, yes, it's quilting, yes, but ooh, that variety, it just I don't know, I think it gives it some oomph.